Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today we're going to talk about the new changes to login credentials on the Raspberry Pi operating system. So up until literally like the last 24 hours or so, everybody that's used the Raspberry Pi operating system has always had the exact same username and password because the Raspberry Pi operating system has just given everybody the same default login credentials. So everybody's username was always Pi, everybody's password was always Raspberry. And it made it really turnkey and super easy to get started on there because you didn't have to go through those couple steps of putting in your own personal login credentials. And I don't think it necessarily caused any problems, but I think it does kind of streamline the risk for potentially being hacked someday. You would still, in order to be remotely hacked, you'd still have to enable um, you know, remote access and stuff like that. So there are some hurdles that you know, a potential hacker would have to still overcome in order to hack you. But I do think that it makes it a little less complicated for them. So it is a good practice, in my opinion, to enable everybody to go in and create their own personal login credentials. And that's what's happening now. So if you use the latest version of the Raspberry Pi OS, you're going to go through your same sort of setup process, but now you're going to actually come to a prompt that asks you to go in and actually put in your own personal username and password, which you have to obviously maintain and remember and all that. But it's not unlike anything else that we're doing on the internet. We're still using you know, our own username, our own password for Gmail and different email accounts and different operating systems and all that stuff. So it only makes sense in my opinion to do this. Um, but again, I don't think there was any, not any issues that I know of with hacks and, and all that stemming exactly from this but it could definitely have become an issue later on down the road. And I think that it's good to get in front of that now and make these changes. And there's actually a lot of countries out there that are introducing new legislation to actually ban default usernames and uh, passwords like this. So one of the countries that's actually leading this initiative is the UK, which happens to be where the Raspberry Pi Foundation, creator of the Raspberry Pi operating system, is based. So again, it only makes sense that they're getting ahead of this and implementing these new changes now. So I fully support it. I think it's a great idea. And it really, in the end, only takes probably an additional 10 to 30 seconds to actually go through this process. Maybe a little bit longer if you're stubborn like me and you're struggling to put in a uh, password that's acceptable to them. But again, in the end, it's a super easy process to set up your own username, your own credentials, and the majority of us are probably gonna use the same ones that we're using on other operating systems or email accounts or whatever. So I don't think it's gonna become an issue for anybody really. It's only gonna benefit us in the long run. But that's gonna do it for today. I just wanted to talk about this. It was a article that I just read big announcement from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So I think it's relevant to this channel here where we talk a lot about Raspberry Pi and of course RetroPi, which uses Raspberry Pi products. So that's gonna do it for today though. Just wanna put this information out to everybody. Thought it was interesting, thought it was important. If you enjoyed the video, you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. You know the drill though. If you're interested in staying in the loop for all future videos here on the RetroPi Guy YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm consistently putting out typically three to four videos at least a week on here, um, you know, stemming from Raspberry Pi information, uh, retro Pi, retro gaming, emulation, all that good stuff. So definitely hit subscribe, stay in the loop, and I'll see you guys next time here on the Retro Pi Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.